Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. If this is your first time tuning in, you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. It's a rainy Saturday, and we are off to the shop to see if we can't get that exhaust leak fixed on the old Mopar. All right, guys, so we've made it back out to the shop, and all we're doing today, or right now, is we're trying to get the head bolts, or I'm sorry, the header bolts tight up against the block and there's a couple of bolts there that seem to be a little tricky because a box end wrench is too thick to fit in there let me show you what I mean so the space between the head here and the header does not allow me to get a box end wrench in there nor a socket and all I have available is this open end and as you can see all the open end wants to do is round off the edge and what I'm faced with over here on this one is that I can't get it tight at all. So it's just kind of loose. The washer is just kind of floating there. Therefore, I'm getting a little bit of popping out of the exhaust. So that's kind of what we're tackling right now. might be as good as we're going to get it on this one. Come over here and see how tight this one here is. That one there seems to be pretty tight. I tried loosening it just to see how tight it was and it kind of just snapped off there a little bit. That might be as good as we get that one. So let's come over here and see what this one's like. That one seems like it's a little bit loose too, so. Might be all we're gonna get on that one. So let's start it up one more time and see what kind of sounds we get out of it. So it seems to me as though it's right in this area here where it is the loudest, but it's also loud in here and back there. So I can't really tell for sure if the noise is just the noise it should be, or if we get a little bit of a leak around there or something like that. So I think what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna drive it for a while. And if it doesn't get any better, then what we're gonna end up doing is maybe taking that gasket that came with it out and putting a good copper gasket in there or maybe even doubling up on the gasket. So we'll drive her for a little while. So because it is such a crappy day today, I don't think today is gonna to be the day we do any pulls. Although we have naturally occurring burnout lube. It's good, it's good. It's good. So with all this rain that's been going on the last few days, uh, we got the car in here and Junior says, I bet you the windshield wipers don't work very good on that, talking about my car. And I said, well, they do the trick, and, and they do. But uh, it doesn't stop me from putting a Rain-X treatment on the windshield, and so that's exactly what we're going to do right now. You'll see where I brought it home yesterday. It was raining a little bit, so she's got covered in dust and dirt, and you can see where the wipers have been swiping. But we are going to get them cleaned up and then apply a treatment of Rain-X. So what we've got here is just a regular old brand of Rain-X, the good old fashioned original stuff. And all you gotta do is make sure that your windshield is dry and clean. We're gonna apply it with a clean rag. I'm using just a regular old microfiber. And you just rub it on until it hazes. And then once the haze is uh, dry, then you can wipe it off with a different clean rag. So let's get to it. So we're just gonna pour it on until it saturates a little spot on the rag and that should be about all you need. Yeah. 
So right now you can see that it's all hazed over. We're going to give that a few minutes because it is damp out. It's not taking, uh, or it's taking a little bit longer to haze over. Uh, and then we're just going to take a standard paper towel and wipe it off. And maybe we'll even do a second treatment. So she's hazed up there pretty good. We're going to wipe her down. And there we go. We have got one clean window all right next and other than the suction cup mess on the inside from my phone holder we'll get that all cleaned up and we'll put a second coat on just to be sure won't bother you with the details on that one but for now we're going to go and we're going to jump into an update on the lot and show you some of the new vehicles that we have but we might wait till tomorrow when the weather is a little sunnier instead of this rain so we'll be right back with you well guys, so much for 55 degrees and sunny on a Sunday, but nevertheless, here we are, and I told you I was gonna give you a lot update on some new vehicles. And as of this second, there are five on the lot. Now, there was an auction uh, late last week as well, and that will produce probably another five vehicles more for the lot, which I'll update you on on another video. Without further ado, let's just cut to the chase and show you what we've got. We've got this 2016 Kia Forte. This is an EX model and it is sporty. It's got the blacked out rear windows and the black uh, on the rims and it's just got all the right touches to make this a sharp, sharp looking car. Right beside it we've got a 2017. This is a Chevy Spark and although it's a small little four-door hatchback it is loaded up really nice. It's got the fog lights and it's got the uh, automatic transmission, the wheels, the uh, Chevrolet MyLink. Uh, so it's got all the goodies on the inside and only 54K, and I'm not sure if I mentioned the mileage on this one. I guess I don't know what the mileage is on this, but I will post it on the screen at this point once I figure out what it is. And then we're gonna walk all the way down to the end of the road, guys. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise, but I can't help that. And we've got this little cute car. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. He's so cute. This is a 2012 Scion IQ. This was basically Scion or Toyota's answer to the smart car. However, it is a four seater and it's very comfortable. We would hope that we might be able to sell this thing for around 8,000 bucks. And as we come inside here, we have yet another Hyundai Elantra. This one is a 2013, it's a GLS loaded up really nice on the inside however it does have just the steel wheels with hubcaps no fog lights no sunroof uh, but all the bells and whistles on the inside this is a really really clean car very well kept and it's been undercoated and as you can see it's been undercoated properly somebody has drilled out all the plugs in the rockers that goes all the way through and that way you know that the right job has been done junior was in yesterday on saturday and gave it a quick shampoo there's a few little spots in the seats that's why we've got the blower in the window. We come over here one more time and this makes number three for the Kia Sorento. This is a 2014. This one has a hundred and fifty something thousand kilometers on it. Brand new tires, brand new brakes all the way around. I was driving at home on Friday night and we realized that it had a bad wheel bearing. I'm thinking it's this one right here. Uh, so that's why I'm not driving it right now. I figured the best spot for it was to bring it back to the shop and leave it inside. That way we can get to that thing first thing Monday morning. This being number three, one of the other five vehicles that we bought late last week was, yes, another Kia Sorento. Same color, same year, a little bit different mileage. So we're going to have four of these suckers on the lot. Three of them are going to be 14s, one's a 15. They're all the same color gray. So. We're probably going to have to have some sort of a big Kia Sorento sale. I'm here about the SUV. And that way, we'll be able to move them all very, very good. We have no problem with these cars. They're very good, very reliable vehicles, and uh, they're great sellers this time of year. So guys, I just want to take a minute to let you know that this video is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. Now, Sussex Beard Oil is a local New Brunswick company who made it big on Dragon's Den, and therefore their product has been being shipped all over the place. My buddy Matt has been gracious enough to share his product with me and sponsor this beard for my YouTube channel. So in hopes that I can grow and I can help him grow his product, 
a little bit further as well. So guys, there is a promo code, LOVEBOX. I'm gonna put that right here. And you can take advantage of getting yourself a free travel size beard oil with every purchase of a full size. All you've gotta do is go to the address listed here as well as down in the description box below and put both items into your shopping cart and enter the promo code GloveBox and you'll receive that travel size for free. So thank you, Matt, for being a part of Old Car Auto Guy and I look forward to many, many more videos with your sponsorship. So that does conclude this episode of Old Car Auto Guy. Say it isn't so. Guys, I'm glad you stuck around right to the very end and thank you for giving this video a big thumbs up because you liked it and some of you guys who don't like it I know you're gonna give me a thumbs down but I appreciate those two why because guess what it's interaction and that's what YouTube wants to see on a successful channel so thank you guys very much thanks for leaving your comments down in the comment section below as always you know that there are four links in the description box below and the very first one is the link to my bonfire.com store where you can get your very own old car auto guy merchandise second one is to straight six fan who is my co-host for the thursday evening live stream this week being hosted on his channel hope you tune into that we're coming to a close on season one taking a little bit of a hiatus and then we're going to come back with a season two so again stick around for that guys we get a lot of beneficial information out of that to share with you guys and you guys are sharing back with us so Grant and I are trying to get a couple of guys up to 1,000 subscribers on their channel. The first one is HodgePodge Garage. The second one is Uzolu Garage. And they're ever so close. They're within that 100 subscriber grasp of 1,000. Guys, head on over there if you haven't done so already. Their links will be in the description box below. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah,